walk up here and it's tempting to start shouting or something along those lines. Let's just pop down to our Zot 5, get a map going, and see what we have to deal with. This floor we are going to clear in its entirety. So I'm going to block that off and get exploring. Hello friend, let's hope I can kill you before I lose all my magic. Perfect, indeed we can. And now we will continue on. It's so tempting to bring the gong back out now that we're on Zot 5. But I think that it's stupid. <laughs> I think that I will regret all my decisions in life moments after doing so. So for the time here, let's maybe just be happy with what we've got. Continue to, to fight our way through the old-fashioned way, shall we? Most definitely won't be using that, but that's fine. Cursed Toe, Iron Shot should take care of you, no problem. If we'd gone surrounded by mushrooms, that fight could have gone a little bit more annoyingly painful. Also, oh, this is that other stairwell. Wait, we have two explored stairwells? Oh yeah, right there, huh. I didn't even know you were around the corner. I was not paying attention while we were up here. I was in too much of a rush just to get the heck down. But that's A-OK -okay with me. Gives us a nice resting point temporarily. Exactly what we needed. I wish resistance to corrosion gets slightly better. But it's all balanced, of course, and I do appreciate the challenge that arises. But some petty part of me does wish that it was just easy mode, you know, just for me. Why the heck not? So we finish exploring. Wait, why can I see you? Oh, because I'm not in statue form. <laughs> Again, keep forgetting about certain factors, like the fact that we have seen visible on our fairy dragon scales, but we're just always in statue form, so it never really seems relevant. Okie dokie. Statue form on. Ignition down to 6%. That's much better. Spellforge Servitor looking pretty solid and nice as well. Surprisingly, we haven't run into any orbs of fire, so I'm sure that that's about to change. But otherwise, looking pretty good. Okay. I think I'm going to enchant armor. Just put it all in this kite shield. Kite shield does kind of match our outfit. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, whoops, maxed out. Might as well put the last one on the boots as well. No real harm in doing so. I mean, not a huge benefit either because they do get melded into our body when we go statue form, but that is what it is. The question becomes, do we wish to change anything up before the final delving into the lungs? It's unlikely we're gonna do very well against orbs of fire with only one pip of fire resistance. We only have three resistance potions, so it's not an option to just be chugging those left and right. Um, let's do a quick search for RF plus, see if there's anything we left behind that we could use there. Do we have orb of destruction? We don't. We ended up taking Lahudib's crystal spear instead. But it might be nice to have a slightly more ranged option to try and pick off enemies from a distance, for sure. Regardless, Spellforce Servitor and Lahudib's Crystal Spear should be enough to take care of most threats the game can send our direction. But we will definitely take you, friends, on a wee bit of a merry jaunt here. You have no resistances, right? Indeed, you don't. Perfect. I guess it doesn't matter if we are just going to radiate you anyway, but I was wondering, for the future, it's good to know. Perfect. Only one draconian followed us. Did the other just lose sight along the way? Excuse me, friend. Are you just wandering somewhere about the level? Because you know I don't appreciate that. We don't allow wandering. But, so far... So good, but of course this is just the easy part, as we can cheat a little and just dribble out enemies one at a time. Let's test out that Spellforge server though. Lahuda Crystal Spear immediately annihilates. Perfect. I think I need to start pulling that off, or pulling that out a little more liberally here. It's probably a good idea. 
Okay, Zot Trap did not murder us. That's good. Let you friends approach. Irradiate. It's one thing we have to be potentially cautious with in bringing in our Spellforge Servitors. We might just absolutely blast them into oblivion with Irradiate if we are not careful and even if we don't mind doing so, it's still something we'll have to be paying attention to as we move forward here. Not fantastic. Perfect. Okay, so net trap, not great. We do have untrapped lungs, so that's huge. I did not expect that after our discussions earlier. Oh, we're definitely jinxing ourselves completely. This one even has some Teleport traps nearby, only one Zot trap that is kind of in a bad place where it's going to get stepped on, but we can peek around this corner, be a bit sneaky about it. Let's so move forward. This area has a bunch of Zot traps, which I don't like. All the net traps, also not fantastic, but we should be able to work around. No alarm traps, which is a shock. I do not believe my eyes, really. But otherwise let's call some attention to ourselves hello friends come one come all i'll probably still run away a bit even with the the lich being a bit of a pain last you a couple times we did kill the lich that's fantastic news i will kill the moth of wrath so that we're not dealing with enraged draconians chasing us down and perfect. It's a good little intro into the, the little branch there at the very least. Stir up the hornet's nest, get them scrambling about, and then hopefully we'll be able to kind of take care of them one by one. In fact, what I should do is just block this off so that we don't accidentally walk there. Couldn't speak for a moment. And then we can kind of go about this a bit more naturally. Please, sir. There we go. And onwards we go. Spell for server friend, please join me in this, this combat. Ooh, we are teleporting some enemies around. Right. Okay, so we'll have to be cautious of that, cautious and cognizant, but hey, it's always good to be paying attention, right? Something just make sure we are. It's not the end of the world. Want to get out of sight of that Zot Trap right away. Paralysis effects specifically are just going to be an absolute nightmare if we get hit with them. So ideally that's what we're avoiding here. Oh, did the Guardian teleport themselves? No, they never noticed us. Okay, that's fine then. Teleport traps are of course a little bit sketchy because they could send us into the other lung for all we know but ideally we'll avoid that <laughs> so we just continually drop enemies into it that orb of fire also didn't notice us okay i was kind of hoping to drag it out here so that we could deal with it in a bit more of a controlled fashion as it were but that is what it is loud zot not exactly what i want Let's bring in the Spellforge Servitor. Absolute wonderful work. It's a good expenditure of our last little bit of magic too, right? Because it does kind of ensure that that will propagate onwards a bit with a few more casts of Wahoodibs. Providing our Servitor doesn't immediately just get completely annihilated, of course, but ideally that's not going to be the case. And once more. Bring it in. Wait, what happened? Did my Spellforge Servitor just immediately step on the trap? Let's try that one more time. Hello, friends. Come one, come all. In fact, yes, please come for me and don't attack my Servitor. They're doing a fantastic job right now. Beautiful. So I do think it must have been the Killer Clown and my Spellforge Servitor just died immediately or something? Wasn't paying close enough attention to really have any potential clues as to 
Who the heck hit the teleport trap? And where in the world is my server? Bad timing on statue form failure there. Almost didn't even notice it happening. But as long as we do pay attention, not the end of the world. Let's bring in a second servitor after the first one <laughs> ditched us completely. There we go. Thank you, friend. Wonderful work. I mean, soloing a gold dragon? You deserve a promotion. Continue onwards here. Slowly but surely clearing through the side of the lungs. Definitely going better than I really could ask for so far. So we just have to keep this up. I don't know where that orb of fire went. It's definitely still hanging out somewhere, right? My servitor can see invisible? Cannot see invisible. So you're just left to me then, hey friend? In that case, sorry servitor, gotta be taken out. Did we kill the lich? I don't believe it. I must have? Spellport servitor also surprisingly resilient when it comes to that irradiate. Everything else in the game absolutely melted. Spellport servitor ain't got time for that. Love to see it. Did get paralyzed. Really? Three pips of willpower. I wonder what the odds are on that. Fortunately, you're invisible and I can't check your stats. But you do probably get radiated. Indeed you do. I'm gonna start heading out of here just in case. We called a lot of attention to ourselves with that. Perfect. No, don't hit me, please. I did not mean it. It was just a joke. Perfect. Please start launching spells. Oh, I'm one square silenced. Well, we definitely cast that spellboard servitor just in time so that they could continually launch spells when we are not able to ourselves. And thusly, we'll of course bring in another. Again, that orb of fire, just no clue where it ended up. What the heck? I'm so worried as to where it's going to end up showing up from. Because it may seem ideal to teleport an orb of fire out of there, but it's very much not so when you just don't know where they're, where they're going to be. Should also, before my auto explorer takes me too far, I'm gonna block this exit. Perfect. Again, it's always nice to see, you know, just what our spellforge server is capable of. Let them solo a monster here or there, have some fun with it. Okay, I'm gonna start retreating up though. Right. Gosh darn teleport traps. Well, another Spellforge Servitor. It's got to be the ticket there. And we can blast through both of you. I don't actually want to be on the other side of an enemy from our Spellforge Servitor because there is the chance that they miss their opponent and accidentally smash us in the face with a fully powered Luhudib's Crystal Spear. Not exactly what we'd be looking for. No, nope, neither is that. Both of Magma is removed now, unfortunately, so, or not even necessarily unfortunately, but more so to the point. That is the exact uh, reasoning as to why we've been trying to maximize the use of it throughout this entire run here, just to give it a bit of a farewell, a final ode to Bolt of Magma before it gets removed coming up. I won't miss it too much, in all honesty. Like, it is a pretty nifty spell, and it does uh, have a lot of specific usage that I appreciate. But for the most part, I've been behind removing the bolt spells from players and adding a bit more, a bit more flavor into the mix. 
I appreciate it. And especially since I've heard that the new fire spells are very fun. I haven't played Trunk myself yet, but I've heard nothing but good things about the uh, the new spells added to the Fire Elemental's oeuvre overall, so I'm excited to try it out. It was kind of weird when stuff gets removed, especially if it's something that you have a lot of like personal stake in and have really appreciated or enjoyed using. I can I can respect that. At the end of the day, I'll always be happy with it because it's just usually a little period. I mean, change is hard, right? Change is always going to be hard. But once you get through that initial period of, of surprise and getting used to it, generally, it's all going to be okay in the end. And regardless, this game is always just incredibly fun, whatever way, shape, or form it takes. But okay, there we go. We managed to make our way to the Orb of Zot in one piece. Seeing as how some of these Zot wars went, Zot 5 was stupid easy. In comparison, let's make sure that that's just fully clear. Still no, no walk in the park by any stretch of the imagination, but way easier than it had any right to be, which I am definitely very, very happy about. And now... Do I want to clear out the other lungs? Probably not. I think I'm ready to just start sprinting here. As soon as we grab the orb, of course, we will call some attention down onto our heads. One thing we can check is how many teleport spots are there. This lung, not too many. This side, plenty. So that's all good. The reason why I ask myself this is because we could go for the usual play of reading a teleport scroll, waiting a few turns, snatching the orb. And that way you get teleported on the same turn that you grab it, hopefully winding up somewhere just about right here would be a really nice game. If you can swing that, I would, I'd appreciate it. I'd be very thankful. On the flip side, if it lands us somewhere in this side, the easiest way to just get out of there is to step on one of these permanent teleport traps. So ideally we'd have to end up like in this corner or on this side. Really anywhere along that right side of the lung. It's not horrible. Definitely not ideal. I mean, we have a decent amount of potions at our disposal. You can probably get out of a, a pickle, especially just reading a few more teleports. The orb will of course further delay us, but it is what it is. Um, let's risk it. Three teleport. I'm only gonna wait three turns. I think three turns is safe, right? That's four and a half, 45 odds. It's always a bit tricky because I used to have a system that I always used, but when you're in statue form, you're waiting. It takes a little bit longer and I've definitely not accounted for that in the past and wound up feeling pretty dumb because of it as we teleported out without the orb. I think this is pretty close. Maybe we'll spend one turn, two turn, three turn. Okay, our teleport was very delayed. We did end up being sent into a section that I don't very much enjoy, but fortunately, right next to the teleport traps, just like we were discussing amongst myself earlier. So hey, all's well that ends well. Let's just get trucking. Go D0, get that set up. And hopefully we don't run into too many issues along the way. Of course, if we do, it's not the end of the world. And we will, as always, deal with whatever trouble comes our way. But no point in me fighting you. Fortunately, I kind of have to fight you. I don't want to be getting damnation called down upon our heads the entire journey up. That should be okay. Rust Devil, on the other hand, nah. Just get me out of there. Also, what the heck? Warlock's Mirror was here and I, I didn't even notice? Huh, wild stuff. I feel like Depths 3 is my blindness floor. This is the second game in a row that there's been a pretty cool drop found on Depths 3 that I've just not noticed completely over my head for the majority of the run. Last time it was the Dragon King scales, which given was probably worse overall than this situation, but still just embarrassing really. Don't let Hudib Crystal spear me, please, my own servitor. That would not be nice. Already back onto the regular dungeon without too much 
thrown at us so far. I mean, still, of course, could get our very first hand lords showing up, all that good stuff. But until then, or as of now, not quite struggling to the same extent, especially since we're past all the really scary choke point places. As you're leaving Zot, as you're leaving Depths, where you have to go to that one stairwell, it's the only way in or out. That's where things get a little bit sketchy sometimes. I'm also just going to read a teleport. I don't feel like fighting all these fire buddies. I mean, we're on the same team, friends. We all like fire. You like fire. I like fire. Just chill. Just chill. Let's head to this stairway. Out of the way, maybe. Heck yeah. Gotta make sure to not accidentally kill Natasha. Wait, can I not get out this way? Ah, no, we've reset this somehow. Definitely want to go to D0 is the thing. Gave myself a moment of panic there as it sent us downstairs instead of up further. But we figured it out. Let's just keep running. The Hell Sentinel, I don't want to fight. Single Pan Lord, sign me up because I prefer to kill at least one Pan Lord on our way. Please, maybe? One just easy, straightforward Pan Lord that we don't have to worry too much about? That'd be nice. That'd be real swell. But we're on to D1 now, so it's getting to the end. Game doesn't have a whole lot more time to throw something at us. I guess that's that. No pan lords for us to murder on our way out of here today, but we did manage to make our way back up. You killed 10 pan lords on your last orb run. Was that your 15 rune? That's that's great. I always love to kill as many as I can on the way. They deserve it for coming after us, but I'm torn between a couple of things before we escape here. First of all, very much appreciate the GGs. Thank you all so much. Secondly, do I want to break this dagger? Put on the arc blade just as we walk out of here, see if it has a bit of a sprite. The other thing is it's tempting to wear the gong shield. It was a huge part of our run. It saved us, you know, when we were down in the depths, when it was the darkest we'd ever seen. The shield of the gong was there for us. It uplifted us from the, the shroud of misery and brought us hope and a light for our future. Unfortunately, it's ugly as trash. It looks no good whatsoever with the rest of our outfit. So, that's why I've been wearing this kite shield it was my original plan for exiting the dungeon. We want to want to show up looking nice. I'm sure the crowds are waiting. There's going to be an entire onslaught of applause and cheering when we get out of here with the orb. We want to look our best. So with that dagger of tension, heal tense, no more. Let's let it be destroyed, unwield the fragile thing. Ooh, the arc blade does look real sick. So I'm glad I did that. Definitely compliments our full outfit here. Dagger of Tension, you served us well. I appreciate you and all that you do for us. And a toast, drink all consumables. Definitely. I'm surprised we didn't touch these nearly as much. I almost drank Lignification, which, I mean, not the end of the world, but it wouldn't have done anything for us. Wearing a flight, we might as well, or potion of flight, might as well look pretty cool coming out of here to those that can see us because we'll be invisible gotta be smart we're probably gonna have to give a speech or two do we want to mutate let's see if we can't get something wacky going on before the end here strong will so of course just at the end of this after a run that was plagued by the lack of willpower i would expect nothing else but to gain the strong willed mutation just as we exit the dungeon i appreciate that Resistance, and that should be just about everything. We're looking fancy. We're looking fly. Could go for the full mutation cure, but I don't want to get rid of that willpower. I think that that's perfect. Exceptional clarity of the mind. Wonderful. We're sitting pretty. I'm looking happy. And let's, for once and for all here, put a rest to humans as we escape on our second attempt here. Oh boy. Definitely had some close calls today. It was a bit of a rough one. But hey, what else is new? Aren't they all? And very much happy to be through in just a couple of tries. We've been hit 
by curse after curse recently on the different species as we're going through the list and just uh, struggling to make it by an even a semi-reasonable amount of time. So that's pretty incredible. I can be happy about that as we finish off with good old Hugh Mann. Mr. Mann will be remembered and will, unlike the majority of our characters in this game, will be able to return to his family and have a, a great rest of his life into retirement, into old age, read from the shadow of Zaw. And a pretty solid run, besides the lack of willpower early on, of course, that we were struggling with over and over. It's nice to, uh, to have kind of leveled out, plateaued. Once we got our spells under our uh, control, we had a good idea of what we wanted to cast at each and every opportunity, and Shield was gone, giving us that willpower, of course was the, the big one. Let's hope all the horrors of the dungeon won't haunt him for the rest of his life. Oh dear gosh, I haven't even thought about that. The implications, the, the PTSD that all these characters suffer, even if they escape with the orb, are they ever really free of it? Well, hopefully, hopefully he has some good friends, some good times, can get through it all in one piece. And with that, we're at the end of our Railbird run. Thank you, Railbird, for inspiring the combination here. It's nice to have a bit of a an idea in mind when we're setting off. It was a lot of fun to give ourselves an extra layer of, I say challenge run, but I only mean that in the, the loosest of ways because fire elementalists are my favorite. And so it at least directly jived with all of my kind of play style. And once we got an ignition online, I'm more than a happy camper, but yeah, thank you Railbird for the inspiration on the character. Good old Hugh here. And with that, we are at the end of our night here. I definitely had a whole lot of fun. Very satisfied to get through. Next time around, we'll be hopping in with Kobold next week on Sunday. So I've been looking forward to Kobolds for a long while now. Unfortunately, it also means it's been that long since I played a Kobold. So I'm probably going to be a little bit rusty, especially with the new Kobolds uh, with their Night Stalker trait are really interesting and fun to play. If anyone has any combinations they'd really like to see, feel free to reach out. I know that Cobalt definitely had a few different people chiming in, so we might want to work our way through. Very early on, when we were in our first couple species, people were recommending Cobalt Berserker, which is an old favorite combo of mine. Um, and then I've also had a couple a couple friends who really wanted to see uh, Cobalt Hexer. And last, I think just last week, maybe we had somebody bringing up Kobold Hunter as a, a fun combo to try out. So definitely let your voice be heard either on Twitch at any time, private message me, comment on any of the YouTube videos, even if it's not the, the Kobold one or this one in particular. And I'm always happy to, uh, to take some feedback and have some fun. If it's anything like this run, I think I'll really enjoy having a, a set combo going into it, especially if there are any deities that people really want to see. Um, it makes it kind of fun. It makes it interesting, right? It can feel kind of samey. If I just go Gozag every time, I'll probably win more often, but where's the fun in that? But yes, I went here, had a whole lot of fun. I hope you all enjoyed watching as well, of course. That's uh, a huge part of this on top of it. And yeah, if you have any suggestions in general, definitely reach out to me if you're watching around and you haven't... Oh my gosh, I'm failing so... Just fumbling on my outro. Oh, I'm too excited, I think. Heart's going. But if you're not followed here on Twitch already, definitely do so and be notified whenever we go live, see what we're playing, especially this coming week on Wednesday when I don't actually know what I'm playing yet. We're going to be playing it by ear a little bit on the way, deciding probably at runtime what we feel like playing, especially depending on how I'm doing that day. Again, suggestions are welcome. Always appreciate it. But, uh, or on Sunday, when we're definitely going to be jumping back into DCSS, having fun with that Kobold run. Very excited for that. And yeah, huge thanks to everyone who uh, shows up throughout these, watches them offline on the YouTube side of things or through VODs. Appreciate you all so much. It's an absolute treat to be able to do this. And I wish you all luck on your own dungeon crawling adventures. Or if you don't play dungeon crawl, then I wish you best in life in general. And that's um, all great. Before we log off here, we'll of course do the usual, find uh, a raid target, see if anyone's around. Do a quick check over on this side of things. Perfect. It does look like 
Grins is live right now. Definitely highly recommend sticking around. I really enjoy their content. And uh, right now they're playing Black Sad, which is a, a very fun themed game about a, a cat detective that looks kind of like Batman. That's, I don't know, not a great description maybe of the game, but it's a, a really fun one. And I know that it's a game that my partner has absolutely loved playing. So stick around to check that out. Thank you all again so much for watching. Um, I appreciate you all so, so much. And regardless of all that, the fumbling of the outro, like we always do, I do, of course, hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you out there. And I hope to see you sometime in the future here. I will see you soon. See ya.